Now the U.S. CDC is alerting people to a phenomenon called COVID-19 rebound, and it's related to Paxlovid. Rebound is when someone who tests positive for the virus and has symptoms gets a prescription for Paxlovid, but then gets COVID-19 symptoms again after finishing the course of the medication. I spoke with the Maine CDC's state epidemiologist about this to find out more. That is the drug of choice, and it's our most effective option for patients who can get it. Paxlovid, a pill. Take it for five days, and it will reduce your chances of ending up in the hospital or dying. That's the promise from Pfizer and the U.S. CDC. Their studies find the pill is at least 85% effective in preventing severe disease. This is hugely impactful. Right now, it's for people who test positive for COVID, have symptoms, and are considered high risk. That includes anyone age 40 or older, or anyone of any age with an underlying health condition, including being obese, overweight, or a smoker. If you are at high risk, you have a decent chance of landing in the hospital or having a really severe case. If you get Paxlovid, um, that risk almost completely goes away. But an alert this week from the U.S. CDC points to COVID-19 rebound. That's when a person takes the full course of Paxlovid, tests negative, but then sees symptoms again within a week of finishing the treatment. There's limited information, but the U.S. CDC notes most people who get rebound have mild symptoms. That's scary for a lot of people, and I think it's understandably scary. Um, COVID can lead to some pretty bad outcomes. But the tricky part is that COVID symptoms that return after you take Paxlovid are not as much of a cause for worry. Both the Maine and U.S. CDC say rebound patients do not need more treatment, and it does not mean the treatment has failed. If you're at risk for severe disease, you should get treated, even if your symptoms are really mild. Now, the Maine and U.S. CDC both stress getting treatment is not an alternative to vaccination. They both say vaccination is the surest way to protect yourself from severe COVID-19, like hospitalization or death. Chris, so does the U.S. CDC say if those rebound symptoms are more mild than the initial ones? So there's limited limited information from the U.S. CDC on this. Right now, they say they have no reports of anybody showing severe rebound symptoms. But there's also not enough data on if the transmission during rebound symptoms, like how well you spread the virus, if it's any different from when you first get infected. So if you get rebound symptoms, public health officials say that you should still isolate for five more days once those symptoms start and wear a mask around people for 10 days. All right. Thanks, Chris.